Okay, so we are ready for, or hi boys and girls, sorry, should greet you every time. Um, we are ready for 15-4, which is the problem solving lesson. So boys and girls, you've probably noticed that the last lesson of any chapter is always this problem solving. And it's always a little bit harder, I think, because they kind of try to take what you're learning and they try to like mash it together with some deep thinking problem solving. And so um, a lot of times these problems are harder, you guys are more frustrated, but I actually think this one is easier because all of this starts to make sense. So listen to this problem. It says, Val is planning a bowling and pizza party. That's something that you might do in real life. Um, including herself, there will be no more than 10 guests. So for her and then like nine friends. Um, Val wonders which bowling alley, alley offers um, the less expensive party plan. So again, she's trying to be economical. Um, so she, basically what she's looking for is which is going, which bowling alley is going to be less expensive overall. Now we could make a graph with this, but we're just going to compare these two because I think that's actually more practical. It says complete the tables for Leonard's lanes. Um, we're going to do Leonard's lanes in pink. So Leonard's lanes is going to be in pink. And then south side bowl is going to be in yellow. And then it wants us to compare um, the different amounts that it's going to cost. So um, for Leonard's Lanes, it says bowling and pizza is $25 plus $10 per person. And so you'll notice that for number one, for the very first guest, it says $35 because it's like a $25 maybe holding fee for the lane or something like that. And then $10 per person every time. So then it goes up for person number two, it goes up to 45. So then person three would be 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 105, 115, and then 125 for person number 10. And then South Side Bowl is going to just be, um, that is just going to be $15 a person. So there's none of that like, you know, deposit or whatever. It's just a flat rate, $15 per person. So the first person is 15 and then 30 and then 45, 60, 75, 90, 105. Um, so at person seven, they're already at person eight. So I'm, I'm predicting right now that um, this one's going to be cheaper. 105, 120, 135. Yeah, it's going to actually be quite a bit cheaper. And then 135, 150. So it's going to be $25 less to do Leonard's Lanes than it is to do the South Side Bowl. Um, and if we wanted to make a a chart of this. This is an example from the teacher's manual. You can kind of see that they did go ahead and chart this. And the one does start off the South Side Bowl. I think it is. Yeah, South Side Bowl does start off cheaper because it's only 15 per person. So, um, but it ends up being more expensive overall. And so I guess what she could do is if some of her friends, let's say maybe there's like a global pandemic or something and you can't actually, um, you can't actually have the party with as many people as you were thinking. Um, sorry, that's a little COVID humor for you. Um, you know, if you had four people up to four people, actually up to five people, they're the same. Um, at five people, they're the same, but up to, um, for less than five people, it would be, um, cheaper to go with the South Side Bowl. Um, so that would be another way that you could make your decision. So that is the um, first part of lesson 15-4.